Oh my gosh. I'm over here, you guys. I'm about to have a serious half a decade personal summer. Why do I have on this sweatshirt? I'll tell you why. Not even sure where this is gonna be filmed, but just know, this right now, we're in July. And I got this on because I had done a few other videos and I was like, girl, what you won't do is do about four videos if you keep all four in the same outfit. You gotta do something a little different. And this here was in my office closet, so that's why I got this on. Welcome, if this is your first time, if you're returning, thank you so much. Before I even continue, click the like and subscribe button. It takes about five seconds, if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. And let me just say thank you in advance. This is my love for Lux, and I am here to talk about almost seller's remorse. I've had this handbag going on, not going on, yeah, going on four years. This is the Graceful MM, obviously by Louis Vuitton. Now, why am I saying almost sellers, sell, almost seller's remorse? Because when I purchased this bag, I got this as a replacement for my Artsy MM. If you see my video, my first video talking about this handbag, or even I think every video, I've always talked about how I had the Artsy MM, I had the Delightful MM, both of those were deemed effective. And this here, I had a credit from the artsy, so I got this right here. And I absolutely, I love a good hobo. I love a good hobo, obviously, because I've had those two bags, both in monogram. I had the delightful MM in Damir Ben. But with this one here, and I've always said this, because I had the other two, I always compared this one to the other two handbags. And I just, I hardly ever use this bag. Well, yeah, I hardly ever use it. Had it for going on four years. Use it enough to be able to do a, re a review, but not enough to give it its proper love. So I actually, I had reached out to some family and friends. Just like, hey, you know anybody who wants wants to buy this bag? Before I put this bag on either Poshmark or in the Facebook group or anything. You know, just trying to see if they wanted to, if they did, I said, okay, you know what? It could be a quick sale and, you know, give a good price. It could be a win-win. And another reason why I thought about selling this is because, again, if you've seen any of my videos, I have the Loop Hobo GM on my wish list. Absolutely love, love, love that bag. Every time I go in the store, I'm drooling like a, I'm drooling like a pig. Uh, yeah, I'm just drooling, y'all. I'm just like, ugh. and in my mind. It's kind of hard to justify getting the loop hobo and keeping this in my collection because they're both monogram hobos. And I don't want the loop hobo in down in um in on prime. I want that one in the monogram. But yes, so obviously nobody bought the bag from my family and friends. And then I think I have offered, I may have listed this bag. I'm not sure. I think I don't know. I don't know if I've listened to it, but I know I've reached out to some people. And recently, I was like, you know what? Go ahead on, start wearing this bag, and just kind of see. Because I had also tried to sell my Neverfull in Damier Azure. Nope, nobody will buy it. No bites. And this year, maybe around in March or April, started carrying that thing and I know I carried it for um, I'm easily a month and a half straight and never have I ever carried the dummy is or never full more than four days and I'm pushing it's really probably about three 
And I just, I fell in love with that never for. In fact, I've used that one this year more than my damn near being. It's up there right now. It's just as jealous as I get out. So that prompted me to say, you know what? Give this one here a chance. And I'm so, so glad. I tell you what, the, uh, you know what? God be knowing. He, he be knowing. That was so incorrect, Grandma. But I'm keeping all that in here. God knows. That's correct, Grandma. Yes. But I'm so glad that I gave this, not a second chance, but more of a fourth chance because I've been using it for the past few days. I actually gave my car a leg of dinner bag a break. It was like, girl, if you don't give me a break real quick, I love the handbag. I ain't really how much I love the handbag. Okay, it's not about that one, it's about this one here. And I'm saying that because it's right over there. And I'm still using it. Well, I'm not using it, but I was using it. Okay, anyway, I had gone back to using it. Okay, that's what it was. But yes, yeah, so I am so glad that I gave this a chance. I absolutely, I love this more now. All right, let me stop this video because my boo is calling. All right, I don't even know why I stopped there because my boo had called. But yes, I'm so glad that I gave this bag another chance. And that is one thing and kind of thought that, uh, well, one thing that sometimes when I say, you know what, I'm, mm -mm. sometimes when I think I'm done with something and I'm like, okay, I'm going to sell it. I'm so glad that God allows it to say, you know what, mm -mm. don't let it sell because typically I end up, I would have ended up regretting it. So yes, if you ever run into that situation where you're trying to sell something and it doesn't sell, that may be a sign for you to keep it and just and to give it another chance, give it a little bit more love and then see. Now, I will admit when, not if, but when I get the loop hobo, I will definitely, I will wait some time to see how much I gravitate towards this graceful MM. And then see if this if I need to actually sell it or can I utilize both of them and justify both of them being in my collection. I do feel like I will be able to because this is a more a much more casual bag. And if, again, if you've seen any of my videos or heard me talk, I love a good shoulder bag, and that is what this is. Although the loop hobo is a shoulder bag, it also has a detachable strap and i love the option of not having a detachable strap because it gives it reminds me of an old school pocketbook but it's not it's the handbag and somebody can say that's the same thing no way mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a pocketbook this is a handbag them purses that, that, that your mama carried back in the 70s and 80s those are pocketbooks unless there was a little or something like that a coach something. If not, it was a pocketbook. But yeah, I just want to get on here and talk about I'm so glad that I kept this bag and I gave it another chance. And if you are a hobo style lover, definitely consider the graceful. My mother has the PM and I, I actually like the PM in some ways better than the MM because it allows for yourself not to be all over the place. I'm not going to do a what's in my bag because this thing can hold everything in the kitchen sink. But yes, if you've thought about a hobo, and it's smushy, I love a good smush. It's smushy, but it's not as smushy as the old school delightfuls. Here I go again. And it's a little bit smushy, I feel like, than the loop hobo. But yeah, all right, girl, you got this going all crazy. But that's it. I just wanted to get out here and talk about this and, and show her some love, because a lot of times, I don't give her love like she sh like she should have, and I love her. All right, thank you for watching. As always, stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive. Take care. Bye.